Hi everyone, in today's video we are going to explore the build-up pattern. I will explain why it is useful and show you how simple it is to implement with Lombok. Let's get started. In IntelliJ we create a Maven project and we define a class called car. Now we define some attributes in our class, for instance, make model year and color. To generate the getter for this class, we will use Lombok. Therefore, in our POM file, we add the dependency, this one, reload the project. We annotate the class with a getter annotation. Now, we want to make this class immutable. Therefore, we will add the final keyword to all attributes. And as you see, the IDE is complaining because now we need to provide constructor for this class. We could use Lombok annotation to generate the required R constructor. However, in this demo, we will explicitly implement the constructor. With this class, we have two issues. First, we can't define default values for the attributes because to instantiate the class, you need to provide all attributes in the constructor. And the second issue, using constructor like this, is error prone, as it is easy to confuse the constructor arguments. To address these issues, we employ the builder pattern. We create a helper class defined as static inner class, we opt for static inner class because its sole purpose is to facilitate the creation of the car class. And in this static class, we will provide a method that creates or instantiates the car class. Let's call it car build and it return new car. We use the constructor make. And as you see here, we have this build method to instantiate and we can now define default value like here, for example, in year or in model or whatever. Additionally, we need to a static method here. Let's call it builder to return builder. So now we are ready to test this here in the app in this method, for example, car. And we get using this method builder we get the builder and after that as you see we can use this method chain it so it is difficult to make an error here so we can make for example toyota and here you, it is a chain you can call it again because it return the builder itself as implemented and now we can use color red it is again chained model abc and you can year for example year has a default value and at the end you need to call build to create the immutable class so in the class we can we added this to string annotation from lombok let's see my car if we run this one as you see the car has been created however as you see, this is a boilerplate code. You need to take the same things from here and add them here. There is one beautiful annotation from Lambo called Builder. So when you add this one, there is first, there is no need to provide the constructor. So we get rid of this. This is the first thing. Secondly, we don't need to provide this one and we don't need to create any inner class, as you see all this code can be removed. So your class consists only of the attributes of the main class. And now if we check here, this will still be working. So we have seen how Lombok helped us to get rid of a lot of boilerplate. I hope you enjoyed this video and see you in the next one.